Hey guys, it's Snow and welcome to Must Watch. Well, cyber criminals have found leverage by exploiting security weaknesses within these organizations and through often reoccurring breaches and the subsequent impact on supply chains, consumers will continue to be affected throughout 2022 and beyond. Here to talk about this and more is IBM's Lamore Kissum. Hello, Lamore. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing great. It is so nice to have you on the show this AM. So great to see you on virtual. Thank you so much for your time and for joining us. So let's talk about this important topic, cyber attacks. So walk us through some of the cyber attack trends of this year and what have we learned from these attacks personally? Right. So this is an annual report we produce and we're seeing the trends every year, right? This year, we're seeing that cyber attacks are more expensive and more disruptive than ever. They're standing now at $4.35 million on average, and this is a 13% increase over the past two years, right? So cyber attacks are not only getting more expensive in that sense, they're also the cost of these attacks is being rolled over to consumers. And it's not a hard math to make, right? For, for businesses out there, they're already stretched thin from the pandemic. They're seeing their supply chain costs go, you know, they're higher than they've been in 40 years now. Yeah. And a cyber attack comes along, that costs them a bunch of millions of dollars. What are they gonna do if at the end of the day, the consumer ends up paying more? And 83% of businesses said it wasn't just once. So they suffered more than one attack and they probably had to roll costs over more than once. Now, Lamore, what factors are contributing to the costs and impacts of cyber attacks out there? One thing that costs a lot of money is disruption. You know, when everything is down, if you think of a hospital, every hour, every minute is costing money and it's worse than that. It's costly, it could cost somebody's life, right? So major things like that, they're very costly, the more disruptive they are. Um, there are 28% of attacks that we looked at were either a ransomware or a destructive attack, right? So ransomware is when a criminal is able to somehow find all your data and lock it. And for an organization, that could be a very big thing. Imagine you're trying to access your bank and you can't because all the data is locked up yeah. by someone. Um, and then a destructive attack is the flavor that says, okay, if you don't pay me a certain ransom, I'll just destroy everything. I'll destroy the data and you can never recover it again. And also make sure that all the devices are inoperable. And again, think of places where critical devices are no longer operable. So these are very costly attacks for an example. Now, Lamour, how are these attacks impacting consumers in the broader supply chain? They are impacting consumers because costs have to be rolled down. But if, you know, yeah. there are some examples that could be more immediately evident, you know, when there was an attack on a major pipeline in the United States, there's gasoline prices shot up 10%, right? When there was an attack on a major meat supplier, the same thing happened. That was very direct. But in this case, they could be a cyber attack in the supply chain. Let's say one company gets hit and two, three other partners down the line also are impacted by that same breach. All of these companies are paying a lot of hefty costs for the breaches. At the end of the day, the person paying more for the goods and services they're consuming is the consumer. Is us, as you and I, who wanted to get, you know, a, a hamburger right? Whatever yeah. goes into that transportation, meat suppliers, all those companies that can get hit in the way, they have to increase costs. I end up paying more for my burger. Yeah, Lamore, how can businesses actually, you know, really better prepare themselves for cyber attacks when something big like this happens to a company? They can prepare themselves by focusing their efforts on detection. So finding out when something is wrong sooner before more damage can you know take place the more time it's like a thief in your house the more time that person lingers in your house the more jewels you're going to end up finding or whatever else of valuable things they could find same things when attackers are in your networks the more data they're going to find the more stuff they're going to lock up or destroy and so you know those lengthy attacks we should be able to detect them sooner and also be more prepared to respond. So we're saying, you know, attacks cannot always be prevented. Eventually they're going to happen. It's like, we can never think we'll never have COVID. Maybe one day we'll have it, right? You yeah. can't avoid it. You want to have a plan. What are you going to do when that kind of attack happens? Who is going to do it? What are you going to have to report? Who are you going to have to report? What regulators are in the picture? Do you call the police? Well, who do you call in the police? Is it local police? Is it the feds? You know what the story is. You have to really get all this into a plan drill that plan and for ransomware you want to have a separate or additional booklet of like 
what are the decisions that we're documenting ahead of time, now when we're under fire, to make sure that if this happens, we know what we're doing and we know how we're going to recover and we have everything in place. If you think about all these things in advance, you stand a chance to really go through an attack a lot better than, than if you don't. Now, Lamore, tell our audience where we can go for more information about all of the great things that we have discussed this morning as far as cyber attacks. Right. So you can go to ibm.com slash security and you can look up the report at cost of a data breach. Just Google it or in any search engine, cost of a data breach. You'll find that information there.